So, let's see what we've got to close out the year for you guys, my Leo friends. Are we ready? We're ready. Wow, we are ready. We're going to split it right there. Wow, we. Well, I'm going to show you this because you really need to see it. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Family, friends, gatherings. Uh, just tremendous, tremendous things happening. Now, we also have the Emperor here, Leo. He talks about the King of the Jungle, just like you. This can represent, maybe, your friend Aries and their sign. I don't know. It's up to you. But it can talk about really gaining control of whatever it is that is guiding your uh, your desires, your passions. The Queen of Cups. Now, <clears throat> some of you may be considering taking that great big step and proposing marriage to someone over the Christmas holiday. It's something you may have been thinking about doing for a while, but now with the Emperor, it's as if you've decided, okay, I'm ready, I'm going to do this, I have confidence in the situation. You've put a lot of work into this relationship. Uh, the relationship you're in right now, Leo, hasn't gotten to where it is overnight. It's taken a huge amount of work and sacrifice. And um, now I think you've really got a handle on what it is that you want out of this situation. I think you've reached a level of uh, pride in yourself for the way that you've handled this relationship. I think for some of you, it's been basically a pretty happy road, this relationship. But I also think that you have seen hard times uh, on your road, but maybe not with this relationship. I think what I feel for this situation is a lot of really good stuff happening. Right, a lot of really good stuff happening. The Ace of Wands. That talks about that, the, the drive, the desire, the passion to move this thing forward. Maybe to take it to a deeper place. Um, a more um, passion-driven, uh, emotional place. Right. Like you, the King of Wands. Here you are. You are right here, dead set in the middle of this relationship. Now with the Emperor here and with the Queen of Cups, which I'm going to classify as a partner in the situation. If you're in a same-sex union, same thing. This is the love partner. This is the person who nurtures you, who cares for you. So it doesn't matter male or female. Love is love. You're going to love who you're going to love. And maybe this Queen of Cups, if you're a female, it's your female partner if you're gay. If you're a man, it's your male partner. God bless you. Let's talk about <clears throat> having to walk away from something, a situation. Maybe... It's walking away from the negative thinking or the fear that some of you may have that is focused around love. You know, um, some of you have suffered real disappointment uh, where love is concerned. But you represent yourself here in this reading. You're, you're quite powerful in your own ability to be driven by desire and to reach out for those things and to accomplish them. 
because this is about accomplishment. Even after having to walk away from something that may have been disappointing for you, Leo, there's a new place to fill your cup that may be part of your journey right now is looking for that ideal place to refill your cup after a disappointment. But you have to know that this new desire that you're, I, I don't want to say focused on, but okay, you're focused on bringing about this kind of commitment with the Ten of Cups. Completing cycle, cycles, not psychos. That's a different reading. Listen, you're looking for happiness. It's striving for the ultimate. The sun, the dreams, the success, the newness, travel. Um, everything that would make your life feel complete and whole and fulfilled. So you're moving, you're graduating. Gra My mouth doesn't want to work tonight. You're gravitating towards this new cycle. <clears throat> because you have desires, because there are wishes, because there are There are things you want to accomplish, but there is a person, one person, one person for you, and maybe you've had to overcome doubts. Maybe you've had to overcome fear. It's all here. But you're moving towards something better, but you... A lot of you already have that one person secured in your life. It's really up to you to get over the doubt, the fear. Maybe the fear of being rejected. Maybe it's the fear that I couldn't make it work once before. You know, am I going to be able to do it again? Well, this is saying you have to maybe take the chance. You maybe have to take the chance. You're, you're sitting <clears throat> much better in this situation than maybe you think you are. And even though something that you worked awfully hard at, it's the one thing that you're going to have to release and walk away from. You're walking towards something so much better. So, Leo, whatever you've had to leave behind, just know that you're moving towards something a heck of a lot better. Whether it's career, or love, or home, or family, or success or business, or um, education. It can run the gamut of just about anything. Just about anything where there can be a disappointment, but moving towards something bigger, better, brighter. <clears throat> something that has more promise than the place that you've been in. So you're moving towards something a heck of a lot more successful than where you have been. Now, this is where I ask uh, Spirit to clarify for me. So I ask right now if there is a situation or if there's something here that you feel we need clarity on right now, please show me. Mascot was up. Don't want to see my, my old legs. My old white legs. <clears throat> my, I hear they're quite chicken-like. So. <laughs> my daughter. 
Oh, I have nothing to hide. My legs are old and chicken-like. Okay, here we go. All right. Here's our clarification. Messages coming forward. Uh, an old friend. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. So we have the messenger, the old woman, and the thief. And I have to wonder what the thief is doing here because he is the master of deception. Uh, maybe you were in a situation for quite a while because the old woman will talk about uh, circumstances that go on and on, sometimes as if they've gone on forever. Uh, the messenger talks about maybe conversations with an elderly person. Maybe they, maybe something is being revealed to you. A deception. Now we have despair. We have the surprise. And we have love. I almost have to, have to think that with these card combinations, someone may, <clears throat> a conversation with someone, Older than you, more mature, someone who has some wisdom. May open your eyes to the fact that you may be kidding yourself. You may be deceiving yourself around this relationship. That you seem so desperate to want to be in, but... I think the commitment, I think there's an issue here for someone with a fear of commitment because despair talks about fear. And it all and we also have the card of love here. So I think there is love around the actual commitment part for someone in the situation. It's a positive situation, but someone feels propelled to walk away. It's as if they can't get themselves away from the subject of commitment fast enough when it comes up. So we have someone here who wants to escape the subject of love. Not sure why the surprise is here. Unless the, su the surprise might just talk about the fact that maybe once your eyes are open after a conversation with a wild, wise old relative or a friend or even speaking to spirit one-on-one, -on -one, searching for answers, when your eyes are finally open and you see maybe how you've been deceiving yourself or this other person who may be phobic around relationships. Once you see how much you have been deceiving yourself when, and, and maybe there's a fear there when you get over the fear, maybe there's a bit of surprise or wonder as to why you never did it before this way because there's love there. So if you failed at love before, maybe this experience is going to open your eyes to the things that you've done wrong and be enlightening to guide you towards what we've got here. Now we're going to go over to Vimeo and watch the love reading. This may just very well be a continuation of that reading. Let's take a look here first. We want to get a keeper of the, what is this, keeper of the light, 
Keep her the light. Yeah, keep her the light. <laughs> oh, I've got so many of these, I can't keep track anymore. This is the keeper of the light. I like these cards, so. This is an oracle deck. Let's take a. Let's get an energy for you. And you know what? I forgot your word energy. Let's see what we get there, too. The voice of truth from Joan of Arc. Wow. Uh, stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak the truth. So, speak the truth, damn it. If you're afraid of committing, speak the truth. Honestly, your partner will listen. If you have fears, doubts, that's what they're there for. They love you. Or unless this, if this is them, you may have a struggle on your hands, though, honey. But still, speak the truth. <laughs> this is funny. Happy holidays. We have peace. Okay? Be at peace with one another.